Alrighty, let's check this out here. I'm gonna bring down the sound. Q, Q, Q. I like the the offsetness. You could potentially experiment with slightly rotated in the Y. This is very straight on, very, um, you know, like, I know, actually, I don't know where you animate it, but it's in Maya, but like if the channels are zero, so like a slight one arm this way, one arm this way. So then it comes out with a slight turn. So then it can land a bit three, not three quarter, but just a bit. But that ends up being a bit too, too mirrored and clean. Because then having that slight three quarter this way will lead nicely into this. So you just have to kind of lean down to do that, which is cute. I like this. Maybe bend that arm a bit longer until you get there. It's a bit stiff too soon. And you could potentially go down a bit lower for a bit of a springier anticipation into that. I think the rest is okay. It's a little bit of wobble in the body. Right there. You start with a certain pivot off here. And then here you suddenly go up which also reduces the amount of rotation this way, and then it continues. But it seems like you're going down this way, and then suddenly it goes out this way, and there's a slight slow down here, and then down. This is picky, but it's a little note there. The pounce is cute in the head too. That could be something where, you know, you hold one hand here, the other one down here, just again for asymmetry. Watch out, a bit mirrored there. Could be jumping off and holding this a bit longer with one and then come in. Watch out, this feels a bit straight. That's tricky, I know you gotta read this. So you don't wanna move around too much. The laughter, I don't think works with the mouth. Since he's talking, or since he's making noises here, that opening, since there's no noise, it feels a bit separate. And then these are just a bit timid given the cackle there. You can probably push that also a bit in the head up and down. Congratulations. Now, I don't remember, to be honest, the lip sync in the previous shot. This seems very pushed in terms of one frame pops. If that's the style, then let's go for it. Congratulations. Because they do work. It's just... For Poppy, I would give it maybe a frame every now and then. And then with this, you know, you can have a little bit of asymmetry in, in this. And also the, that mouth shape could be slightly tilted. Just it's not all so default and straight. Give it a little bit of a, a change there. One eye is a bit bigger than the other, actually, which you have there. So you can bring this higher, actually, with a slight tilt this way. And then on your blinks. This again, this depends on the style. Usually the blinks don't do more than this. Most of it is in the top, so you don't want to go too far down. But I would at least have a little bit of an offset. One's here and one's down there. And you can ease into one more on front frame, easing in. Then bam! And then that's okay. Although, I might not have two frames. Two frame blinks are always kind of sticky. Either three, then it feels like an intentional hold, or just one. Two just feels a bit sticky, so I would take that one frame out, but and then ease out of one. You know, you're getting a little bit offset, a little offset, and then you want to get to like eighty percent of where your blinks are, and then over five six frames, get the rest twenty, or like the rest ten or so frame um, percent to kind of ease in a bit more, a tiny bit. Not that you want this to be realistic, because it's not the style. It just feels a bit too uh, mechanical. That I'm not quite buying in terms of the weight, just because this would be here. Like I would, I don't know if you can, but you know, he would have to be, you know, something here would feel more more balanced. It still feels really this would fall. I know it's tricky to do. Also, very stretchy arms. These are tough. And then that I will give it that one. That's a bit of a harsh drop there, huh? I will give this one more frame. 
was a bit of a pop there. Hey. Watch out, your hand here. It's a bit of a tick. I'll keep the, give this either soften or simplify that arc. Hey. 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 Come. Have a look. Kind of the same notes on the on the lip sync if you can. Hey. Adding like a frame maybe between uh soften each extreme. Come. Have a Watch out the come. It's a, it's okay. We see a little color change to understand that, but you could have that as a silhouette. Look. On this opening, if you can, I would involve the body more. So this is fairly, we establish this is heavy. This is probably still heavy. I know I'm probably reading way too much into uh, a children's show, but still, you could start maybe four or five frames earlier with the body tilting away from us this way. So it's kind of leaning into it and then the arm comes up and then on this up, you have a bit more on the overall body. So it's not just the arm. Congratulations. And that is that. <laughs> Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.